And the text is John chapter 5, verse 26, and Hebrew chapter 7, verse 16. John chapter 5, verse 26 says, For as the Father acts life in himself, so has he given to the Son to have life in himself. And Hebrew chapter 7, verse 16, The who is made, not after the law or a carnal commandment, but after the power of an endless love. The aim of this Bible study is to show Jesus Christ as one with God, the Father in creating all things. And the second is to teach that Christ was never created like all the creatures on earth and in heaven. God is the source of all life. He is therefore called the living God. In opposition to idols which have no life. This means that life in God, God's existence, is not derived from any other being. All other creatures were created and derived their life and existence from Him. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. He says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostril the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And in Psalm 104, verse 29, says, Thou hidden thy face, they have trouble. Thou takest away the breath, they die and return to their dust. But God is not created. He is always a sixth. And he was, so he is, and shall unchangeably always be. That is in Psalm 90, verse 2. The text today has proceeds to us the fact that Christ shared the same attribute with God, not being created but like God, a sixth by himself, and he is one with the Father and the Holy Spirit in Trinity. Our study guide, question one, is into two parts. It says, like Psalm 14, verse 1, some atheists have been striving to prove that there is no God. The first part says, in your own thinking, who is behind the very notions? Psalm 46, verse 3, established this. Also, who says, the rising and setting of the sun. Isaiah 45, 6. Who created the million stars with the smallest bigger than the earth? Psalm 147, verse 1. Psalm 147, verse 4. Psalm 147, verse 5. You can see if we read all these Bible texts, you can see that it's God who is behind all this and created all. And the second part says, When were they formed? And when will they expire? Like, like man made products. You can say that whatever is made has an expired day. And God created all this when we read Genesis chapter 1 and 2. We say, during the creation of the universe, God created them, and God knows the end of all. Question 2. Genesis chapter 1 and 2, and John chapter 1, verses 1 to 3, repeat the creation of all things in heaven and on earth by God through his word, Jesus Christ. In your own thinking, can or should we have who created God? Psalm 90, verses 1 and 2. It says, Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or even thou hast formed the heart and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou. 
from all the scriptures that we have read, there's no need for anyone to ask that kind of question again. Since God introduced himself, we have the scriptures that prove that God created this, created that, and now all things were made by him. So we don't need to ask again, but to believe that he is the creator that created them all. Question three. From the quick fears to questions, how can you explain the fact that Jesus Christ is self-existent? John chapter 5, verse 26. For as the Father has life in himself, so has he given to the Son to have life in himself. The question asking was, how can you explain the fact that Jesus Christ is self-existent? Uh, well, I want to say that this thing is based on faith. That what he says is what he said. If he can tell us what has not happened, and it happened, even this coronavirus that we are talking about, he has said it long ago that it will happen. So he is the owner of everything. He knows everything. He, for example, at the uh, uh, burial of Lazarus, he told his disciples what happened where uh, at Bethany, and it was exactly so, so that the glory can be for God. So God has given him that power, his self-existent. Even when he was dying, when he was going to the cross, he said it, that he would die, and third day he would rise again, and it came to pass. The fourth question, how do some religious perceive Jesus Christ today? Isaiah chapter 49, verse 7. Says, Thor said the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, and his holy one, to him who man despises, to him whom the nation abhorred, to his servant of rulers, king shall see and arise, princes also shall worship, because of the Lord that is faithful, and the holy one of Israel, and he shall show thee. Also, Mark chapter 6, verse 3. Mark 6, 3. Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James, the Joseph, and Ju Judah, and Simeon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. From that passage that was read to us, it is very clear that even the the neighbors, his own people, did not accept him as Christ. And therefore, it is not a strange thing for anybody now to despise Christ, even when his own people despised him when he was alive. The holy being who was never created, but who created all things, is God. Though the fool says there is no God. Let that kind of person prove the hate of this world. Who created it, and when it will expire? Therefore, since Jesus Christ is one in nature, an attribute with God, he was never created. He is without beginning and end. He is the self-sufficient and self-existent one. The food for thought, Jesus Christ begotten, not made. Memory first, John chapter 5, verse 26. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son to have life in himself. Let us pray. Almighty God, give us grace to know you more, for we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Je 
lati tari ti gbo ba won ti o pa won ni kuwa de ise won ni tojo bi o ti le je pe gbo wa le lese ti ko si ni de de kan ti o pe ni tori la je ki a lo le ni wa ju ite a lo re ti a ka lo gere gede re fun awon asise wa te wa ti a si je wo gbo ise wa ni wa ju re toko toko ti a si pe nipe a ki o tu pe olorun ninu mo ki a si ni mi ti pe awa yo ri dari ti pe pe ga ni owo re fun ti e ni eya la e je ti a je owo wa ni ki a si pe owo o se wa ni ta ti a ma ni pe olorun me ni ma ni olorun ni ma ni awa to wa to ma pe se wa e se o ro si so e se i ro ko ati e se i wa ni ati e se i wa ni e yi ti a ta lo ko ni mo si wa ile da wa si wa ile da wa to wo da ri ti wa wa da ri ti wa baba la nu ni to ri e ko mo ro jesus christ ni ori wa wa ni e se wa ti wa ni wa mo ke se se wa ye lati le ma bu o fun o jo wa mu te ki a je ni 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 wa ju o ni ki o si mu e se wa le o ni to to se wa le o ni to awon pe o awon pe o jo wa ma ma ku ni e se ko ni ki pe mo oro wa iru wa ati se wa to do ni ni ba ife ni mu ni to do jesus christ ni ko wa wa ni to do jesus christ ni ko wa wa ah ni ah ni on do ni o do ni baba wa ti pe no e ni to ti ninu awon re la se iri dari je se gbogbo awon to ti ni ku wa la ati awon to ti fi igba gbo ti to ni wa la se ki o sha ru fun yin amen to da ri ti ni amen to gba ipo o ni na se yin ko fun o ko fun e se yin ko fun o si mu yin lara le ni o fun re ko fun o si mu ti o ri yin ti ko le pe fun ni pa se jesus christ o lu wa wa amen a ku wa wa ya ya la ko wa fun ni wa wa
We pray that your grace, your blessing, will continue to grow with us in Jesus' name. Bless each and every one of us in Jesus' name. We pray for the government, for everything that they have been doing to make life easy for us in this period. Father, strengthen them with your wisdom in Jesus' name. Uphold them with your knowledge this time around. As we go on in the new week, let your grace continue to go with us in Jesus' name. May we have no cause to continue to bless you. Give glory to your name, for we pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. This is a Latin film of our name, not glory. Oh, Tisham, the replay, and you can tell me that I met up for our new book or a word with the name of one. Oh, you are. We favor a TV, I want to let you share this to see. Be a silly before you know. My film, I'm sorry, my young lady, I'm here, 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 I'm Number five hundred eighty-six. Number five hundred eighty-six. Number five
Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have been hearing many uh, messages for the past few weeks, and uh, today we are considering another topic, the family as a unit in the kingdom of God. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 to 9. The family is platform for building and multiplying God's kingdom on earth as established in Genesis chapter 4 verses 1 with Adam and Eve. From the beginning, the family has been God's nursery for nurturing children so that they will not be tortured in life. Jesus Christ was born within the context of a family. It was within the nurturing care of his earthly family that Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and has faithful with God and men. Luke chapter 2 verse 52. Like Cornelius, it is God's desire that every man and his family be saved. Acts chapter 10, verses 2, and chapter 11, verse 14. From the story of God, every husband must not leave his wife out of the process of knowing God, especially having personal experience with God. But grow maturely in prayer and Bible study. Genesis chapter 19, verses 26. Job chapter 1, verse 9. Throughout the ages, God's plan and desire has always been for parents to raise up their children to know and love God and walk in His ways. In Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 6 to 9, God told the Israelites to keep his commands in their hearts and to teach them diligently unto their children. Many families today are in deep trouble because they have not taken diligent teaching to teach their children. Instead, they left it to the schools, media, clubs, and others to do the job for them. In the present COVID-19 pandemic that has led to a total lockdown of public worship, many families have become lukewarm in worshiping God. We must remember that from the inception of the church, even before persecution started, the early Christians had no church buildings like we have today, but they worshiped God in their homes. Acts chapter 8, verse 3, Romans 16, verse 5, and also in 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 19. From Abraham, God promised to transmit his blessing through families that stay in faith. Genesis chapter 12, verse 3. Abraham stayed in faith by taking responsibility to lead his family to the kingdom of God. Genesis chapter 18, verse 19. God is earnestly expecting to see godly offspring from every family, especially those who call on the name of the Lord. Malachi chapter 2 verse 15. Because Eli failed to raise godly offspring, his lineage was cut off from the priesthood and longevity was denied. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 30 to 33. 
Jesus Christ explained that our times today are much like that of the days of Noah. Matthew chapter 24, verse 37. To be preserved, we must make sure that wickedness is not domiciled in our families, but that our homes become houses of faith, faith in the living God. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7. Second Peter chapter 2, verses 5 to 9. Joshua chapter 24, verse 15. And at this time, I think I need to give some of us opportunity to examine our lives, our homes, where we have failed. If I should ask you, where are your children? Are they in faith? Are they still worshipping the same God that you are worshipping? I think we should examine our hearts. And this is the time, brethren, to go back to that Savior. For the Bible says, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but he that confess and forsake shall have mercy. Let's ask for mercy as we confess. We agree. We are failed, and God will forgive us. Shall we pray? On your behalf, and on behalf of your family, confess, ask God, mention your children's name, your wife. Are you in tune with your wife? Is your husband in tune with you? Is, can we say your home is a church where God will be happy to be the head? Tell him and he will forgive you. This is the time to amend our ways. You can put your hand on your chest and say after me, Lord Jesus, as a person, I have not allowed you to rule my life or my heart. As a family, I have also failed. But today, Lord, I confess my sins. I ask you to forgive me. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse my heart. That Lord, my heart will be house of God. And my temple will be temple of the living God. And my family will be a church. A place where Christ will dwell. Let there be a change in my life from today. Thank you, Father. Who I ask in Jesus' name. As you pray, that is a renewal for the last one. One may a enjoy the world. That is a new one. And then all the joy singing. Person zero a question. Thank you for joining. And we will see you again. Baba wa run wa dupe fun ita se lomi ore awon eyan lere o oluwa te o ga lo won wa ninu ko si ninu oha ninu dile won ko ede yi to wa olorun alaanu te o ga lo won wa so ona eni kokan wa di kuko baba tu wa ninu mi ha gogo te ka le ka le ma ri mu wa fun o se yi fun wa ya si bi mo Obama, 
Wajah apa? Oh, nasib tu. Masai yang tu pun. Lepas mana ni? Wajah tu ni tak. Wajah nasib tu pun tu. Masai yang lain yang awal lagi. Tapi awal ni saya memang tak tahu apa lagi. Saya jasa ni buat yang mungkin tu. Yang mungkin tu sama je orang tua. Ada kerja orang tua masih orang tua. Orang tua tu ada kerja. Ada masih tu orang tua. Ada kerja masih tu orang tua. Ada kerja tu. Ya, lah. Kalau orang tu tak tahu dia ni apa. Kepada Parisi, Latin, Louis Bouloua, three hundred and twenty one.